Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Game It Out. This is Raynard Part 3. Holy! That's Anthony over there. Holy shit! I am Josh. I didn't cuss Anthony, Josh. I got some, some hot... Sorry. Sorry. Jesus. I got some hot news for you. Mm. So between uh, yesterday's episode and this episode, right? I have obsessively been playing this game and I have learned a lot of the tricks of the trade that I can finally now explain. Right. First off, I can charge... You can charge your weapon. See that oh, shit? Oh, what? So it lets you do a couple things. For ranged, it simply means that I can just Boom, hit people from a little bit like, further away and do some like extra damage. Whoop, oh, and if wow. you're using melee, get the fuck out of here. You can uh you can dash and miss. But in theory, people good. better than no, me. No, that was a good demonstration. Yeah, well, it was and, like uh, watching Tony Stark at the beginning of Iron Man <laughs> 1. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird to go back and watch that now. Because like Tony Stark is so eternally suave as the series goes on that the idea that he never like had a plan with Iron Man feels really odd. What do you mean? Like, oh, at the beginning when he was just like a playboy living his dream life? Yeah, and like testing out the suit and just getting his ass kicked while testing it. Yeah, that's uh, good though. So these we knew about before, right? And I sort of understood better now what like the cost. So like the cost on this one is a random weapon. So we have to decide like if we think it's worth it for me to potentially lose my ranged or melee weapon right. for the increase. And this one, it costs four health, but then I get more gold, that kind of thing. Mm. Also, I figured out, let's see, what's this? Uh, this is a relic, pick up more gold. I don't really see the point. Anthony, well, I in mean, really any of these things. Depends. What do you like, Josh? Uh, hard abs I, or sick money, m fat money sacks? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. That's an impossible decision. That's true. How am I supposed... Ah, fuck. Jesus, charge the uh, weapon. So, one, one thing I also have noticed is no matter how much I play this game, uh, my aim, which is based on the analog of me perfectly trying to aim, because I don't think there's any locking on. Right. Like, I thread the needle accidentally a lot, is what I've learned. You uh, know, it's like a crawl is like that, where it's like you just sort of hope for the best a lot of the time. Oh, really? Yeah, it's and you just kind of. It's a free. It's like a free mo floating, just like just like three quarter view shooting range is is actually pretty pretty uh, skill based. I see. I guess that's kind of cool. I'm finding uh, it just makes me feel. It highlights that I. Wow. That I'm really good at what you just saw, where I can just thread the needle through Whoa. a big group of enemies. But, you know. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's what Aragorn does when, when he tries to give him a chance to live, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he just <laughs> he just whiffs and is like, yeah, yeah, that'll show you. <laughs> so, the fairies, obviously, before we already knew that they, they heal you and then they die. But there's other companions, too, that'll help you fight and stuff like this. As they should. And uh, this thing right here, which uh, we've also gotten some awesome YouTube comments about this. Mm -hmm. uh, and so thank you, everyone, for, for letting us know. But this is like a forge thing where if I have... I don't have any items right now. Um, but if I had, like, two potions, I could drop it on here and it would give me a bigger potion. Which is really, really handy. Oh, so that's nice. It would, would it clean up your inventory, etc., etc. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And also, I figured out, so these runes here, it's an armor rune, and what'll happen is, right. in these two slots, uh, one of them is for armor, so once you put it in there, you can, there is a slot that appears for this, ah. and as we've seen on other weapons, sometimes, like, a slot appears underneath, and if we find, like, a weapons rune, we can put it there for, uh, for those things. Oh, 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 I see. So all the things we surmised turned out to be, you know, kind of on point? On point-ish. Literally this. Are you still using that big, slow, but strong arrow? Uh, no, that was the last game that we died on, so we don't have any Anymore. So, you know, every time you die, you go back to your starter's equip starter equipment, and really, the only thing I can tell that carries over is on the left, you've got three little uh, coin meter looking things. Right, right. The top one is a uh, score, second one is gold, and the third one is like a boss token. Oh. And you accumulate those as you play, and you can invest them in other uh, like pills for the tower defense part. So, Whoa. we have a new weapon here. We, if we take a look, kitchen knife. Kitchen knife. Let's see, 0. 0.7, 0. 0.75 normal damage. All this other stuff. I mean, five percent not or five knockback. That doesn't sound as good as the one we have here, I don't think. This one has one Plus normal damage. One. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So we're just going to leave this be because I think this is a lesser weapon, so there's no real point, I don't think, in taking it. Yeah. From a quick glance. Princess gets what Princess wants. And also, we get all of our money from killing stuff and uh, breaking pots, so got to do a lot more of that. Well, yeah. So, and the other thing I've... I've oh, there's a potion. Good. The thing I've realized is there's, uh, <laughs> there is indeed... <laughs> There is a uh, there is a tower defense part, like a dedicated tower defense part, and the way you get to it is you go through these dungeons, you accumulate as much gold and like hopefully some good items. It's sort of like Binding of Isaac in this way, where like right. some runs you might come across oh, fuck better items than other ones, uh, and so you sort of hope you've accumulated a lot of gold and a lot of potions and stuff because after a couple of rounds of dungeons. You, uh, you have to fight a boss, and once you've done the boss, then you do the tower defense part. Dude, sorry to interrupt, Josh. Did you see six skills, Josh, right there? Do you like there? that? Yeah, I've been playing this, uh, I've been wow. playing this 
Ah, you learned to move. Thanks, man. So check this out. Once I kill this dude, we'll go back and we'll show uh, the potion. So this is the way out, by the way. Yeah, yeah. And actually, while we're here, let's check out whatever this... Ow, ow. Whatever the, uh, this question mark was. Take back what I said about six kills, Which is this key where if we pay 372 gold, we get this key that unlocks locked treasure chests, which I have not yet seen. So, mm. and we can't afford it anyway. So, oh. the hell with that. It's like being poor, Josh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, was, Don't. that was good. Okay, so watch this. So, I open the inventory and I've got all these health potions that restore for one health point. So, if I drop two of them, it turns into one that gives me five. Wow. Which is significantly, significantly better. So that's going to be really helpful. You know, the sum is greater than the total of its parts, Josh. God, see, this is why you're, you're like Gandalf. Gandalf. God, Gandalf is us. We are Gandalf. <laughs> yeah. So we, we do. What's this shit? I don't know what this is, actually. Let's go check it. I can't, oh, I think I need a key. I think that's what that is, but we don't have Whoa. a key. But something tells me in this room we're going to find some some goodies. Is this a market bazaar? <laughs> it sure does look like it. Chill that fucking. But I feel like it's in these big Jesus. rooms that things start to really look like uh, they resemble Binding of Isaac a little bit. Sometimes, at least in the later, uh, the newer binder, Binding of Isaac, there were big rooms like this. Right, right. And so I felt I, like this uh, This is where you can draw those comparisons. Do you feel like you can be more YOLO right now because you uh, got a fairy sitting there waiting for you? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, so I'm not going to free her yet until I'm nice and fucked up. And then I, when, I re when I really need it. Isn't that messed up? You'd free her only to, only to slowly take her soul essence? Well, riddle me this, Anthony. What's more screwed up? That she, uh, that I'm going to do that or that she's going to kill her, like, she, t she loses her own hit points just to heal me. You see that? That you're gonna do it. It's, well, she could be safely in stasis for the rest of her life, Josh. Mm, I mean, her choice. It's a nice. She can, she can do what she wants. Look at the pretty room she was in. I'd live there for the rest of my days. Well, that's true. It's funny because there's some uh, companions you run into. There's this other dude you can find who just like helps you fight, runs around with a sword. But sometimes you can't get to him in time, so you just watch him get his shit ruined, and he just dies. <laughs> it's just kind of it. You're like, I got some fairies back in the other room, but uh, never mind. That's for me, bro. Yeah, it's like, dude, I'm coming to hell. Oh, never mind. You're already dead. So that's just the end of that. But so it was cool to uh, spend more time with this game because I felt like, uh, you know, this game is in early access still. So I, I sense that as time goes on, they're going to keep on building out. Uh, various stuff that's happening, so I think it's going to be pretty cool to see what kind of changes they make because, you know, this game I think is starting out with a pretty good, uh, pr pretty good bones, a good blueprint of what they want to do with it. I think so too. <laughs> and so it'll be exciting to see Man. where it goes because I think right now I can't tell because I haven't been playing it that long, but I think there's like there's a couple of bosses and sort of like. The core of the game is sort of Ooh. some like defined-ish, right? And and then they're just gonna. I'm assuming it's gonna be like you know tons of added features, tons. Of, and I'm just spitballing what I just what I assume it's gonna be like. Ow, come on! Uh, that they're just gonna add a bunch of fun stuff. Well, I hope they like just you know iterate on what they got. I mean, they have a they have a fair amount going on here. I mean, you know, my golden rule, man. Games just take time, just iteration time, and you got they got a nice focused set of stuff here. They should just refine it. Yeah. Yeah, and I can see stuff where, like, they will. Like, there's no confirmations on when I use stuff, so sometimes I accidentally use stuff and it just goes away. Check this out, Anthony. So we have a weapon rune. Right. Uh, gives us lightning damage. What? So we're just going to go ahead and put that right there on our big rusted hammer we found. Yeah. Yeah, we called so it. So you were right. Can you combine these armor runes? all those potions and, like, make, like, one mega steroidal drink that turns you into Bane? Uh, you can't. <laughs> that's, I'm pretty sure that's what happens. Yeah, if you get enough of the big ones, you literally turn into... Like the trademark villain Bane from Batman. <laughs> yeah. You know, really access. You can do what you want, right? Yeah, exactly. Sorry, Creative Commons, bro. Uh, uh. But it is good that we found this little forge here because. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's just fucking. Because we have a bunch of little. Oh, even more little potions. Oh, yeah. Fucking take all of them. But you know, they only. The little ones only do one right. point of, of healing, but the big ones doing five is, is pretty significant. What is this? Ooh, that is skull Let's on see. it. Let's uh, see. Weapon rune, necrotic. So I think this one. Look at that. It get restore 0.95 hit points, but it also does necrotic damage, which I think means if we just simply use it, uh, it'll hurt us. So let's. Let's see. Oh, I see. So it doesn't look like it's hurting me. Maybe it's every time you give damage, though. I don't know. Let's find out. So there's other weapons I found that do have necrotic damage that every time you swing them, you get hurt, which, uh, so those are... What's that all about? Those are weapons I try to avoid. I think it's supposed to be, like, the idea is that the amount of, like, life steal you get from using it will negate the damage you take from using it. I see. But in the, in the case of some of the items I found, like, it's just all pain. 
Like, you don't, you don't ever get to, <laughs> Bane. get to get it back. All right, so let's check. It's all Bane? It's all Bane. So you do become Bane. That's what I was trying to say. <sighs> so let's see, this one gives us more stamina, which I don't think we need. This one, uh, wants to take seven of our health, which I don't think is Whoa. worth it for the stamina increase. Uh, this one gives us, ooh, this might be interesting. 0.1 per second health regeneration, random item for ooh. our inventory, eh? So here's our inventory, you ready to, oh. Do your worst, All right, RNG. here we go, taking it. Eh, took it, what, it, what, what's gone? What? Oh, I think a potion. Just a single potion? Isn't, wasn't the upper right a potion? Well, shit. That seems fine, but now I have my little book. And this just works by just it being in my inventory. Wow. So, so that's good. Now we regenerate slowly but surely. And look, we're back at full health. And let's see, what's this one? Cost the melee. So great. So this sounds good, but I don't want to give up my melee weapon. I agree. To get more health regen, because I've tried to do some runs where I only have my ranged weapon, and it is significant, at least for me, significantly harder. Sure. So we're going to head on down to, let's see, nope, not here. One other thing that I think will be cool, I'm assuming it'll get implemented eventually is being able to expand on your mini-map sort of see the whole thing and also yeah. have it show you sort of the let me uh let's see do i i only have one small potion so i can't. can you combine fives and fives to make like full hp restore you can but it just takes up like it i think it'll make it here let's try it out uh uh ta-da big potion and how much is it, it takes 15 wow. 15 yeah so it's a, it's almost oh, too much potion for me it's too much man for your if, man if there was such a thing hey so, there's that old guy again yeah so uh you mean papa john oh yeah papa john dude this weapon's got some like this new hammer i found has some pretty sweet knockback i've noticed yeah it does and i'm not seeing the necrotic damage which makes me wonder if it's uh well i guess i don't know i don't know but so we can go this the red stairways it turns out mean the boss so Ooh, that's what it always means so we it, can either do we can either it. go oh. fight the all right let's do it but if we talk to this guy and we give him half our gold he will give us one more level to go and level up so there's you know there's like a benefit oh Ooh. well yeah do you well no no i went for it i went for the boss so let's see what do we got here we're at dr plague is what the loading screen said Ew. Ah, he's cool looking oh yeah look at him there he is <laughs> he's right. the old spy versus spy characters remember he that does yeah yeah the weasels from uh from mad magazine yeah uh, uh. look at you doing that sick damage uh. Uh, what? That right, was a on, hit. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I know. So what I've noticed is all the bosses seem to have two stages. One where they kind of just mill around like this and have like other things come out and fight for them. Right. And then they have a second form where they usually in some way, shape or form just bum rush you and it becomes suddenly really fucking hard. So I'm anticipating that's going to happen once we get him down to uh, to lower health here. But you know it. You know it's coming. You're going to win it. You're going to kill it, baby. I think that's probably true, Anthony. But I mean, hopefully, hopefully. Let's see. So ooh. I've also never seen this boss. I've seen a couple other bo bosses there's like a there's like a bear that you fight and then there's a big snake wow uh and i'm ow fuck i got too close and he took away half my holy health. crap you got beaked bro let's see i guess i'll just oh but i'm i'm regenerating anthony especially because oh. i've got the soul steel on my other weapon so watch this when i hit this guy when i kill this thing watch my health anthony boom look at that it went up wow so that's actually really i feel like a big game this changer. is what you needed baby it really is but i think it only happens when when i uh when i kill like when when I do the finishing blow on stuff. <laughs> when I kill. Yeah. Uh, are you okay, Josh? Yeah. You, know how, you know how that reinvigorates me when I kill, Anthony? <laughs> yeah. You know when you feel so much better after just, I don't know, watching something's life <laughs> essence just drain away in a haze of an open eye? Yeah. No, Josh, yeah. I don't. You feel that, right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> and I just ignore you till you agree with me. <laughs> Every <laughs> Tuesday before I have coffee. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good shot, buddy. Ah, thanks, man. <laughs> this is the first time I've actually seen these skeletons, too. This whole, uh, this is... This is all new territory for me. Yeah. And I played this obsessively yesterday, so. And look at these Good giant lickum sticks that are we're walking around. Uh, uh, oh! Uh, dude, those do look like lickum sticks. The dip, the. What, what was it yeah. called? Like, uh, uh, lick em, well, uh, lick I'm thinking of the lickum sticks. So there are three packets and they fold it up. Yeah, it was like a fun dip and like, kind of thing. Yeah, fun dip. Yeah, fun that dip. That was the other one. Uh, fun dip. Come on, come on. Uh, all right, no, favorite no, no, flavor? No, no. Grape. Was it? I don't remember. I just remember it being like pixie sticks where, like, it, sure, they claim to have a flavor. Exactly right it could have been fucking liver and onions man it was basically it was a pile of colored sugar literally yeah which which was the best yeah <laughs> did you ever 
I felt like, and I can't, Im I, I love to imagine how kids came up with this, but like, I remember when I was in like elementary school, some kids thinking it'd be cool to snort pixie sticks. Oh, I've done that and before. Was, have you? It's, I mean, I feel like every fat kid has in grade school. I know <laughs> that was my thing. Holy crap. It felt like the flaming hot core of the sun in your, like not even in your nose. Like you could feel it in like the back of your, like the base of your skull. It was so bad. Anthony, that guy did not have a second form, as it turns out. <laughs> He's just dead. You got me all juiced up. Oh, what's that motherfucking teardrop you got? I don't know. What the hell is this? Let's see. Moo Moo Egg. Moo Moo egg. egg. No one knows how the cow got into an egg. 30 hits until break. So it's a limited. We're going to waste one, though, to see what it looks like. Yeah, eh. it's a cow. Uh, and it and it bum rushes? Is, is that what I'm seeing? I, th I think it's like a homing missile. Yeah. All right, Anthony. So going down here, check this out. I'll give Ooh. a brief primer, then we'll hit this up next time. So we are now in the tower defense part. We have to go there, I believe. But for now, like, see these little squares? This is oh, where we build our, I see. our tower defense. And like the bad guys all come from here and they're like from these from these various holes that are around. Pinch points, if you will. Absolutely. That's what I'm talking about, Anthony. I think they come from this side too. Yep. And they're all trying to get to the stairway here. So we have to defend all of these spots here. Uh, so let's take this next time, Anthony. Yeah. See if we can't show a little bit more about the tower defense. See how it's going. See if I can't show you one of my pinch points. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what, what we're talking about. Cut, cut the mic. No, cut the mic. No, they need to hear this. Thank you.